I have managed to hack into my husband's account on this computer. Good morning! Today is day two of me studying, um, doing the Sans Foundations course, and I'm very excited. I am ready, I'm fresh, I am, well, I'm doing things to make sure that my morning starts in the way that is the most productive for me, which means I'm doing my morning routine, um, journaling, meditating, writing informations and gratitude statements. I'm gonna make some coffee and I'm hanging out with my plants. Look at them, look at my tomatoes and cucumbers. Look at this huge leaf. And then I'm gonna be ready to tackle today's topics, which I believe are gonna be, well, Linux, because that's where I stopped yesterday. I was kind of reaching the point where, you know when you're such a newbie at something that you need full attention to like properly do stuff? Felt like I couldn't give it my full attention, so I switched to another module. But today I'm ready, and I think networking systems is the other one that I'm incredibly excited about. So yeah, just preparing myself for another day. Okay, I'm gonna go make some coffee. I need it. Back to the office, ready to get started. As you can see, I have plenty of plant babies in here too. And actually, let me show you something. This happened last night and I didn't show you guys because I was very much involved in the course, but look at that. It's a little leaf, it's an avocado pit. Yeah, there's a lot of propagations going on here. But regardless, I am very excited to get started. Last night, I tried to start the virtual machine, which didn't work as well as I was hoping it would. I had to troubleshoot and there's still some troubleshooting left to do. Um, it's all about the kernel. Oh, it was about the kernel, the Linux kernel. Um, you know, I'm just such a pro now. I know I'm impressed. But yeah, so I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna continue the module about the web, the www and serving. So I'm gonna finish that and I'm gonna get started, get back on track with Linux. Yeah, and while I'm watching that, I think I might do my makeup. It's just, it makes me feel more, more put together and more productive, so let's do this. Last night I cleaned my cloud storage and so my notes have finally synchronized with my laptop. Uh, for my iPad that's now charging. So I am very excited because I can make notes on the video that I started watching the video that I like I had to leave half through halfway through because I was just not even understanding what was going on and I'm glad I did because I was I re-listened to some of the parts and it felt like I saw them in a dream. <laughs> um, but I did recognize them, but I, I don't think I would have recognized them had I not repeated them. It's all about that repeat loop that um, we were talking about, or like breaking the cycle of forgetting. That's that's what it is. So broke the cycle of forgetting. We are on, we understand all about the different types of HTTP protocol. Moving on to the next thing, and I'm going to make some notes using my laptop now because my iPad is sleeping. Recharging. Okay, let's make some notes on what I just heard. All right, so yesterday I finished the computer components and concepts. Well, of course, the intro module, this, and then uh, operating systems and visualization. I started Linux. That's where I stopped because I realized that's something that I need fresh mind for this. And then I did a big proportion of the web module just because I realized that like I didn't need the Linux module as a foundation. So I might as well just do this. And a lot of it was something that I knew. So it was easier uh, on a tired mind, but I still need to finish this um, module on um, servers and, you know, just protocols and things like that. And then I'm going to jump into Linux. We have a bunch of hours here. We have a lot of hours of how to use Linux. So yeah, it's, this is three hours, three and a half hours. This is another three hours and this is two hours. We're going to do that. And then I'm going to try to get into networking fundamentals. 
that is the goal. The goal is to have them both finished. Honestly, I don't know if that's possible uh, because that's a lot of work, but I'm going to do my best. I'm ready to get learning. Um, so let's jump in into, let's finish the, the server one. I finished it at the service side languages and PHP. All right, let's get to learning. I have finished the, uh, the web module. Um, I'm 16% through the course, which is better than 15. And now my husband got off his morning call. So we're going to go have breakfast. In fact, he already made breakfast during his last call. So he's such a superstar. I'll leave this, go have breakfast and then. Hello there, we're back. Breakfast was delicious. We had our porridge. We normally have it every single day um, during the week. And then we have naughty uh, like pancakes or waffles or something like that. My imagination can go crazy and I can bake during the weekends. But it is time to continue with the course. And I realize that I have a standing desk and I need to use that because I need more movement in my life. Standing desk magic. See, I'm, I don't even fit in the in the frame anymore. This is nice. Right now, it's time to start diving into the Linux section and troubleshoot my virtual machine so that it actually works because I will be needing it. I will need it because I'm creating a Linux environment within my laptop. I'm creating a Lin Linux virtual machine, which I don't know, just saying it, I sound so sophisticated to myself. I'm sure whoever is watching this who has experience in cybersecurity is like, yeah, you're such a newbie, but I'm like, I'm a newbie. I'm learning. <laughs> Some of the stuff that I wrote in my journal today was all about the fear of being new at something, how scary it is and how intimidated I am by, by all of that terminology and everything that entails, um, that this process entails. One of my affirmations that I wrote today was being a newbie is normal. You got to get over it to be on the other side. And it's true. So it is time to get over the fact that I'm a newbie. Let's get comfortable with Linux. Update on the virtual machine front. I realized that it was going to be very difficult to install. Well, not very difficult. There's just a lot of steps involved, which I unfortunately don't have time for right now. Um, installing that free open source um, virtual machine software. So I'm going uh, to use a free trial of a different uh, virtual machine software provider. So that's what I'm downloading right now. And apparently it's much simpler to um, to install. And if I'm happy with it, I'm happy to pay for a year of subscription. I believe it's like 20 bucks, but I at first I wanna see how it works and all that stuff. So yeah, downloading that right now. After a bunch of tries, because I couldn't figure out the password, I have a virtual machine set up on my laptop. This is insane. I have Linux set up on my laptop. So now I can finally dive back into the course and see what I need to do and actually follow the steps. Very exciting. Very exciting. I can't believe this. I feel so advanced. That's the word for that I was looking for. That's awesome. I was playing around with the terminal because a lot of the commands on the Linux terminal that I'm learning right now are the same on the normal Mac terminal. And so I, <laughs> I have managed to hack into my husband's account on this computer and got a list of all of his documents in his downloads folder. I told him about it, so it's not, it's not a big deal, but um, yeah, I feel really, really good. <laughs> I'm learning so much. It's crazy. And I love the instructor. He's, 
He's so warm and so nice. He's also the author of the course. Um, he's so warm, so nice, explains things in details. And you can tell he is so incredibly experienced. And I know that all the SANS instructors are incredibly experienced and they're super professionals in those fields. Like he has done so many, he has held so many different types of jobs uh, within cybersecurity. And it's so incredibly awesome to hear his stories, examples, and also just learn from him. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hacker now, you know, like uh, just hacked into my husband's downloads folder. But I need to change the scenery slash I'm slightly hungry and I'm gonna make buckwheat soon, but right now I'm boiling some beets. They need to be cooked in order to last longer. And I think we're gonna make hummus with beetroot tomorrow for dinner. So I'm gonna be working from the kitchen for a little bit. As I'm boiling my beets, we have entered the lab world. This is the lab environment and I'm basically using it to practice the terminal commands. So right now I'm changing someone's permission to access a file. Like, what? I'm starting to get a little bit of a headache because it's a lot of information and just at a really, really quick speed. It's interesting, it's super interesting. It's just a lot of information, that's all. Um, but I feel so much more confident with the terminal and not necessarily with Linux because I haven't explored that as much in the virtual machine because most of the um, things here were labs. Most of the practice units, most of the practice lessons were uh, in a lab, which is super handy, which means that you don't want to have a virtual machine you don't have to you get you like you get to grasp the concepts of how it works without having a virtual machine and i am 55 percent through the linux commands module number one and i believe there's one more linux module which is going to take two hours supposedly so i am still <laughs> there's a lot to go and it's already 4 p.m so we'll see, and I haven't worked out today because I'm doing it in the evening today. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I knew it was gonna be a struggle. Honestly, I don't have to finish it all in five days. The license that I have for this course gives me access to the portal, to the SANS portal for four months. And it also includes the exam, the GIAC exam, which I'm very excited to take. I'm going to take it uh, later down in the year, later in the year. I will also document my experience with the exam and the exam preparation so that you can honestly see the whole experience. But that means that I will have plenty of time to actually prepare, well, to digest the materials and also to prepare for the examinations. So currently successful candidates who pass the exam get a certificate, but the GX certification will be available for pre-sale in conjunction with the course from late May this year. I'm going to do the exam and I'm going to show you the, the process of uh, the learning process, um, like the revision process and what the exam is all about. But I still have plenty of time, honestly, and this shouldn't be a sprint. This should be a marathon. It should be about the quality of the knowledge that I'm getting, that I'm digesting, as opposed to the quantity of the knowledge that I'm trying to cram into my head because yeah, I want to, I want to actually remember this stuff. It's not, it's not one of those history exams at school that I didn't care about or something like that. I care about this information and I want it to stick. So I need to sleep, eat and all that stuff so that my brain actually functions and I need to take time to digest all this information. What am I at? 22% through the course. Hopefully I get closer to 30 by the end of today, which will be kind of aligned with what I did yesterday because I got to 15. Let's see, let's see. I need additional material, so I'm not going as quickly as one could. Um, but at the end of the day, this shouldn't be a race. This should not be a race. It's a marathon. It's all about the learnings and I'm practicing these skills as we go along. So. That's why it's taking me so long, but it is helping me understand things, which is good. All right, so let's continue with that. And I have a little sweet treat for myself.
So, update. We have finished uh, Linux Commands Module 1. We're into Linux Commands mo Module 2, and it is almost 5.30. It's 5.23, and I feel like nothing is sticking. I need to move my body. I need to go work out before, I, like, to get some blood flowing, because right now it's just... It was a little monotonous with the com commands, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's just... It, it is it is what it is um so i'm gonna go work out have dinner with my husband shower and then we'll finish finish linux today like i have to finish linux today maybe get started on networking but let's finish linux it's gonna be a push we can do this we're 23 percent through the course nowhere near the 40 that i was hoping to be at but whatever all right so i'm gonna go work out now then shower, dinner, and come back to this. I really needed that workout. My head feels so much clearer. Honestly, sitting too much in the same spot, not good for learning. And that's, I, I had a proof of that once again. So tomorrow I'm going to be uh, working out in the morning, but I also, will take a break midday and do something active because I need to in order to learn better. Remember that for tomorrow. Keep me accountable. I will be moving my butt more than just standing up and down on my standing desk. I'm back for more. Had dinner, worked out, talked to my husband, hugged him, got some social activity, and now I'm back. All right, and this is my dessert. This is... um jackfruit this is delicious so good we're back to module about linux commands 2 let's do this i didn't make it through the linux module today i'm 41 percent into it and i'm 27 percent through the course itself so i have made progress today but i didn't quite make it up out of that. I think the fact that I was setting up the virtual machine took a lot of my time today and I guess unnecessarily so. I didn't realize that but you know what I practiced it was good and tomorrow with a fresh head it's 9 30 so I have to go to bed. <laughs> tomorrow I will because I've done the web I will jump into networking fundamentals and I think I'm going to be able to like finish the servers too. Um, maybe I'll start on the programming, practical programming and concepts, but I think this is probably Thursday. Honestly, I think this is Thursday because there's just so much, a lot of stuff, but super interesting. And I'm loving the instructor and just the professionalism in, in which all of the materials are provided. And now I'm getting into the sections where you know, I'm doing some researching too, and I think that's a very important skill to develop when it comes to programming of any kind, learning how to figure things out on your own, how to Google things, so important. All right, so I'll stop for tonight. I will see you tomorrow, uh, nice and early, and we'll continue this process.